This is a 13 year old restaurant. I live above it. it it's like our, it's, it's my home. It was really apparent from day one that Oli and Gavin cared so much about the project that it, it just brought a sense of ease to me. When we put a call out to, to designers to start to interview people, um, we ran the gamut. Within four minutes, I knew it was absolutely, it's the designer and it's the team that we were gonna go with. And it was so inspiring to see how much or how little Oli wanted to talk about the design. It was about the food. He just kept asking questions about the heart of the kitchen and the pasta program and his intention in understanding the business at its core was an important part of his philosophy on how to approach the design. I, like I was blown away by that. We always look for some kind of resonance between the architecture and the food. I mentioned that I was really interested in trying to tie into the notion of texture because to me their pasta is what really strikes me is not so much the flavor as the texture the flavor is amazing that's the sauces but the pasta itself they have they have like you know 20 different kinds of pasta they make and they're all different textures they cook some of them a little more some a little less they use different flowers they use different extruders to get different textures and I just, I, I was, I've always been stunned by it. And I thought, you know, it'd be cool if we could do that in the architecture. He, he like had such an attention to getting to the core of our food philosophy and being able to extract that and then put that into different layers of the dining room. You know, it's about really celebrated core ingredients and really celebrated core materials and then allowing the, the raw texture to express itself in the dining room, I think was, was a genius, genius approach to the redesign. I had mentioned the granular texture of Parmesan strikes me, it's very similar to the split face of Carrera marble. It was funny because Ole said that and Thomas's personality is such that he, you know, we said that, oh, and he's, oh, well, I've got one upstairs. We, we can go do that right now. You wanna go do that right now? Was, yes, we do want to do that right now, absolutely. And the Parmesan, you know, he applied, you know, put these knives in and very slowly just kind of sat there and tapped on it and it broke apart just like marble does and had this completely amazing texture to it. And then I also had this idea that I thought we could get trowel lines in the plaster that would begin to relate to sort of strands of pasta, but also again, the sort of texture of pasta or cheese. And so the, these hand troweled walls that are now uh, at Flower and Water, which are so different from what was there before, which was just nothing painted drywall. We had such a great connection with Thomas and Ryan. I think we were able to actually understand what they intended with that original remodel and their intent with the space, even if they couldn't get there with their original budget and the kind of and understand the way the space has evolved since that in the 10 years since they first opened. And we're able to capture what people loved about the feeling, the atmosphere, but make it really bring it into its own and, and make it special and specific to flower and water, and make it unique in that way that just people had that feeling before, but the, when you sat back and looked at it with the lights on, the space didn't reflect that feeling. And I think we really captured it and made the space feel and epitomize what they were going for. Thank you.